hello everyone welcome to pep coding so today we are going to discuss a question middle of a linked list in this question what we have to do is we just need to return the middle node of the linked list of any given list so there is a uh, line which is if there is two mid node then return first mid node what does it mean it means that one two three four five suppose we have this uh, linked list we have given this linked list and we need to find the mid node then three will be the mid three will be the mid node of this we just need to return this three okay this was the case for odd number of nodes if there is an odd number of nodes present in any list then this will, will be the case but if what if we have even number of cases even number of nodes present in any list in this case which node will be written 4 is not the middle node 3 is also not the middle one but 3 and 4 combine is the mid node of this list that line was specifically for the even number if we had even numbers of nodes in uh, linked list then we need to return first mid node which is 3 okay so now uh, let's see how are we going to do that for this we need to uh, derive a formula why suppose 1 2 3 5 6 and 7 we have this list and we need to travel from here to here this is the difference we need to cover we are going to start from here i am uh, placing two pointers here because we just have the head of uh, linked list we don't uh, know how much longer this list is how many nodes are present there is it a uh, odd list in, or it is a even list so we uh, need to find that also because if it is an even list, even number of lists, then we need to return first mid node. So for that, we need to derive a formula. Have you heard about speed is equals to distance upon time? How this formula will help in this? Suppose my A is present here and B is also present here. I want my A to travel from here till here but i want my b to return this 4 if my a is present here that means i know that it is the odd number of two on a list and i want to return this 4 so i want my b to be present here and a to present here they both have the similar time time taken by a will be equals to time taken by b which is equals to b okay and what will be the speed distance is uh, for a distance is uh, a needs to travel the whole uh, list but for b we just need to travel distance i'm taking distance as d d by 2 b needs to travel uh, till d by 2 dist uh, the half this half of the distance only okay so now s a is equals to d upon p a and s b is equals to d upon 2 p b since t a and p b is equal to it is equal then me that means can i write it like that t b is equals to d upon 2 s b and since they both are equal then d upon s a is equals to d upon 2 s b p will be cancelled by each other and what will be the formula we got s a is equals to 2 s b that means a needs to take double of the uh, double steps of uh, b that means if b is taking single step let me change the color if b is taking single step then a needs to travel a needs to take 
two steps. Again, if B is taking single step, then again A needs to travel two steps. Again, if A is, uh, B is taking single step, then again A needs to take two steps. Now A is here, B is B will be here. In the next of A, uh, there is null, so I can't travel more. I'm at the end of the list. That means I just need to return this B. This is the case for odd number. If we have odd number of uh, nodes present in our list, but what if we have even number of uh, nodes present in our list? Six. Okay, we need to take six only. Yeah. For this, again, we need to take two pointers, which is A and B. Now. If B is taking single step, then A needs to take two steps. If B is taking single step, A needs to take two steps. Again, B will take single step. A needs to take A is here recently, right? If A will take two uh, take two steps, then it will start pointing to null. So can you see the base case here? Can you see some condition difference in that? for even if my if for A, A needs to travel this distance, right? If next of next of A is equals to equals to null, then I need to stop. That means I can run the loop while A dot next dot next is not equals to null for even cases. And for odd cases, I can say that a dot next is not equals to null a dot next is equals to null then i just need to stop so i just need to work till a dot next is not equals uh, is not equals to null so let's try to code again our base cases will be equal uh, same that if head is equals to equals to null and head dot next is equals to equals to null then i just need to return head because if we have single node or if we don't have any list then i just need to return the head now what i will do is i will take my two pointers i am taking b as slow because b is moving slower so i am taking b as slow I'm writing it in the comment so that you will not get confused and I'm taking A as fast it will also start from head now while we have figured out this condition while our slow that is sorry our fast that is A is not a, a fast dot next is not equals to null and and this is for uh, odd cases only for even cases first dot next dot next is not e is not equals to null we need to do the work what will be the work slow will take single step and our fast will take two steps next dot next okay and here i just need to return slope right let's try to run the code accept it let's try to submit it's taking too much time uh yeah submitted correct answer so i hope you have understand the concept here and how are we uh, how are we traveling so if not then you can see the video again do dry run the uh, dr uh, do the dry run also then you will understand the concept better so we'll meet in another question again Till then, tata bye bye. Thank you so much.